Tech Chop is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. TechPodcast.com. If it's tech, it's here. Can you hear me now? What? Can you hear me now? Uh, you're breaking up. Can you say that again? Can you hear me now? Son of a bitch! This episode of Tech Chop is brought to you by Amazon. Welcome to episode 22 of Tech Shop. I, of course, am Paul Bauer, a.k.a. Twitter.com slash Pablo. Today we're going to look at a couple of ways we can work around terrible cell phone reception in your house using one of the coolest free services ever offered, Google Voice. Some background, though. My wife and I moved into our current house about three years ago. Ever since we moved in, we noticed that once we are inside the house, our cell phone coverage is completely non-existent. We used Sprint, and so naturally we thought that it might be a carrier-related issue. But over the course of three years, we found out that no service works in our house. If you suffer from this problem, there could be a number of reasons for the loss of signal. One of them being chicken wire in the walls. In some states, like Arizona for instance, builders will put insulation in the walls and hold it in with chicken wire. The problem with chicken wire is that it creates a Faraday cage of sorts and blocks signals from passing through the holes in the wire. Not sure if that's the reason in my house, because I live in Southern California and I'm pretty sure the builders out here don't use any insulation. I guess they feel it doesn't ever get cold enough. I don't know. Either way, it doesn't really matter, because knowing what caused it won't really help us out in this case. At least, not as quickly as I'd like. Before I go any further, let's take a quick break for the weekly news brief. This week's news brief is brought to you by Gamefly. Have games delivered right to your house with no late fees. Keep them as long as you want. Send them back when you're done. Visit deals.techchop.com and click on the Gamefly banner to sign up for your no-risk free trial. First up, it appears that Mandriva Linux is preparing to change their name. The parent company behind Mandriva Linux, Mandriva SA, will retain their name. The big push is to keep the Mandriva Linux community separate from the corporate entity. Some of the proposed names are Northstar Linux, Moondrake, Communedriva, and Mana Linux. You can vote on the new name at the link below. Reddit user D3PD, an alleged CERN scientist, gave a big shout out to Linux for helping in the tentative discovery of the Higgs boson particle, also known as the God particle. Specifically, D3PD credited Scientific Linux and Ubuntu Linux as those two operating systems are widely used in the CERN project. Ron and Rand Paul are shifting focus away from their usual libertarian campaigns and moving on to something important to everyone, internet freedom. Their new goal is to work to keep the government out of regulating anything online and for allowing the private sector to pave the road in cyberspace. You can read more about it by googling their manifesto titled The Technology Revolution. Finally, Amazon may be getting into the cell phone game. Amazon is reportedly working on their own forked version of Android for an upcoming smartphone. Amazon already has the Kindle Fire tablet with proprietary versions of Android that doesn't allow the use of Google Play unless rooted. The same thing is expected for their upcoming smartphone. News for the weekly news brief is taken right from our Tech Chop Daily Paper Lead page, available at news.techchop.com. Don't forget that you can sponsor your own news brief for only $10 by clicking the donate button in the sidebar at techchop.com. Got something to say? We'll be your 30-second podium for only $10. Tech Chop! And we're back. So, we discussed poor cell phone coverage in one's home. I, like millions of Americans, suffer from this terrible problem. A problem that must be stopped. Only you can help. For the same price as a cup of coffee... Wait, what are we talking about again? Alright, so I'm assuming that since you're watching this video, you have terrible service in your home as well. Well, there is good and bad news if you're an AT&T subscriber. For only 360 some odd dollars, you can buy AT&T's 3G microcell wireless signal booster to plug into your home internet connection. Then, for a monthly fee, you get to extend their coverage for them. Isn't that great? You get to pay to do AT&T's job for them. Yeah, I didn't think so. Another pay method that is slightly better and uses the free Google Voice service is the Obahai OB110 device. 
This little puppy goes for about $50 on Amazon, and it's a one-time fee. It allows you to use Google Voice as your landline. Just plug it into your home router, then plug in your regular analog phone. And then you can make and receive calls using your Google Voice number. Phone calls with Google Voice are still free to and from anywhere in the United States and Canada. My desktop tech, Frank the Tank, which you may have seen in some past episodes, uses one at home and says it works great. There are some minor issues though. Number one, you don't get E911 service with Google Voice. Also, you have to pay for the Obahai box. If you don't have one, you have to buy a phone as well. What if you don't want to pay for new equipment and you're like me and don't have a landline and aren't really concerned with not having local E911? Well, I have a free solution for you right after this. Need a new computer? Amazon has it. Need some toilet paper? Amazon has it. Want to read the latest best-selling book? Amazon has it. Amazon is literally your one-stop shop for everything you could possibly ever want online. They also resell items from some of your favorite online retailers like Tiger Direct. Except oftentimes with no taxes and cheaper shipping. Plus, if you sign up with Amazon Prime with a low cost of only $79 per year, you get free two-day shipping on millions of different items. Everything is delivered right to your door. No more driving to the store for your odds and ends, taking away from valuable Xbox time, shop in your underwear like you always wanted to do. Go to amazon.techchop.com. You'll get the same experience and prices, plus a small percentage of your purchase goes to help out Tech Chop. It's win-win for everybody. Visit amazon.techchop.com now and get your Amazon shop on. Bookmark amazon.techchop.com for all your future purchases and continue to help out the show. That's amazon.techchop.com. So in the last segment, I told you about two pay-for methods to fix terrible coverage in your house. Now I'm going to give you a couple of free solutions. For this, you must either have an Android smartphone or an iPhone. If you have a regular old-school cell phone, you're going to have to fork over some cash one way or another. Either buying an Obahai or one of those outrageous AT&T microcells, or upgrading your phone to, you know, a good one. For Android users, you can use the awesome Groove IP Lite app, which is totally free. The Lite version only works over Wi-Fi, but it allows you to make and receive calls using your Google Voice number. If you're on Sprint, Google Voice already integrates natively with Sprint. So while Groove IP Lite is running, if someone dials your regular cell phone number, it automatically goes through Google Voice and you can receive the call with Groove IP Lite. There's also a pay version of Groove IP that will allow you to use Groove IP anywhere you have 3G or 4G coverage. But if you're only using it to work around the terrible cell phone coverage in your house, the Lite version is perfectly suitable. If you're an iPhone user, there's an app that works similar to Groove IP called Talkatone. One other advantage of Talkatone has over Groove IP, if you consider this as an advantage, is that you can log in with Facebook and make audio calls over Facebook as well. Of course, that only works with users that are calling you and you're calling that are logged into Facebook. Otherwise, it can make and receive calls over Google Voice, the same as Groove IP. There's also an Android version available too, but I haven't used it, so I can't speak on it. That's pretty much all I have for this episode. Do you know of other cheap, free, or creative ways to work around or fix terrible cell phone coverage in your house? If so, leave a video response or sound off in the comments below. Be sure to like, fave, subscribe, and follow us on Facebook. Check back next week right here on Tech Chop.